Just take it away. Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome. So this presentation will be uh, by me and Sarah, who Zach just introduced. So we're going to be talking about the importance of water management in plant health care. Okay, so just to start off, we're just going to talk about water, basic water. So water is essential to all life. Um, as you can see here on these icons, um, Sarah created them to show how much water is in each of these things. So just like the little earth, um, it shows that 70% of the water's surfaces is covered with water. And then up to 60% of our human body is water. And then with plants, it can be up to 95%. So it is an essential uh, product to live. Um, and also, water's extensive capability to dissolve a variety of molecules has earned its designation of, of a universal solvent. Um, and its ability that makes such water an invaluable life-sustaining force. On a biological level, uh, water's role as a solvent helps cells transport and use substances like oxygen or nutrients. And then on to the next, it says water is the medium for all biological processes. So kind of like the mo movement of nutrients, so it helps it uh, carry throughout the plant and even our cells, uh, temperature, control, photosynthesis, and cell structure as well. And you see in this diagram right here, um, it shows the flow of how everything moves without a plant. So everything starts in the root system. Um, so those little fine root hairs and everything hold into the water, um, and uh, all the nutrients are coming up through there. So yeah, it enters the root. Uh, up to the xylem with the nutrients to leave for to the leaves for photosynthesis. So everything is a process. Everything is needed to help with one another. And then it also carries the, the sugars into the foam and exits through the transpirations whenever it gives off and evaporates. And then so we go on to the importance of water management. And here we break it down into three different sections. So you look at it on an agronomic scale, economic, and environmental. So when you look at agronomic, that comes into growing. So plant function, nutrient uptake, everything to get best looking healthy plants. Um, and then for economic, we want to look at cost. What's it going to cost you? What are you going to lose? That's what everything is run by money nowadays. And so everything, is, everything you put into a plant is a cost, even labor, um, just like it says right there. And it can even cause like a, a huge uh, impact. It can even cause a loss of business. We don't want that. Um, so in environmental, uh, especially in today's time, uh, we want to be good stewards to the earth, help take care of it. Um, and we have to take into consideration with the increase of weather events, just like the fires in California that keeps going on, have everything being safe out there. Everyone's being safe out there with it. And just increases every uh, crazy weather events going on now today. So poor water management impacts on plants in your business. So what this can lead to is higher water bills, stressed landscapes. So you see all the brown spots, wilting, dead plants, uh, plant replacement, which would be pretty costly, um, unhappy customers, and then, of course, loss of business. All of those things can lead up to something drastic, like your loss of business. And then, so we look at your limbic flavectin. So this poor wilted plant right here is what happens whenever it doesn't have proper water management. Um, despite its importance, water management is often one of the most overlooked aspects because people look at it as just water. Say, I can go buy that at the grocery store for $3 a case. But it adds up, especially when you're growing, landscaping, turf, anything, and trees. Um, whenever customers don't follow the instructions, they blame insects, disease, look to chemical controls. But during these growth periods, there's critical times when water stress is most detrimental. Um, it's imperative that a good moisture supply be maintained during seed germination, uh, seedling emergence from the soil, and water transplants immediately. Um, so whenever you do transplant your plants into a, one pot to another or a pot into the ground, like when you're uh, installing for landscape jobs, um, that causes, that always causes stress on the plant because it's like a new home. It has to get used to it. Um, so with that, it comes stress already. And whenever it comes to stress, um, it can be followed by wilting, uh, browning leaf tips, edges, or signs of water stress. And then whenever your plant is stressed as a whole, it's also more susceptible to diseases and pests, and we don't want that. So what can you do to improve water use efficiency? Here at Arborjet and Ecology, we suggest hydrogen. 
So hydrotane is a liquid blend of hygroscopic and humectic compounds designed to manage soil moisture in between irrigation or rainfall. Um, it's designed to manage the soil moisture between irrigation and rainfall using its unique technology. So these two main components. So the hygroscopic material is something that absorbs or attracts moisture from the air. Um, think of it like whenever you bring an ice cold drink out of the fridge and then the condensation starts building up on the outside, causing those little water droplets on the outside of your glass or cup. Um, that's similar to what's happening in the soil with this product. Uh, then the humectic uh, is a substance that absorbs or helps something retain moisture. Um, humectants are commonly found in lotions, so in lotions they help keep some moisture in your skin whenever you're drying out, kind of like it is with the plant. And right here we see a molecule and how hydrotane kind of attaches itself to soil particles. Um, so the chemistry behind this is hydrogen is a long chain molecule, which you see right there, the little blue arrow. Um, and it attaches itself to a root surface and the soil particles inside. Um, one end is attached and the other end of the molecule is a magnet. And that's what attracts the humidity and then forms the water droplets inside of the soil and brings it into your root system. And right here, we just have a side by side of um, untreated treated plant roots with uh, hydrotane. Uh, so hydrotane on, uh, in this slide we see on the right uh, that the plant's roots and surrounding area are covered with a film of hydrotane and attracts water to itself. But you see on the left, the untreated, uh, these water molecules that you see floating in the air going upwards, that's being lost to evaporation. So with the treatment of hydrotane, you can keep that, uh, keep that humidity and then the hydrotane will convert it into usable water source for the plants, grass, tree, whatever else you would like for it. Um, okay, next. And on this slide, uh, it's kind of, it breaks down what, how hydrotane is, is different from just your wetting agents and super absorbent polymers. Um, so it's common to confuse uh, the humectic te technology with wetting agents or super absorbent polymers, but they're totally different kinds of products, different technologies. Um, so you see right here, wetting agents uh, improve the penetration. So they help the water get just get down into the soil better than it usually is, especially when you're on pretty tense, tough ground. And the super absorbent polymers act kind of like a sponge. So they absorb it, all the water up and then just kind of release it. Um, but hydrotane, it's kind of a, it's just a whole different technology. So hydrotane actually creates water to make it available to your plants or area you need treated. Uh, neither, of the, neither of the wetting agents or super absorbent polymers uh, will actually condense humidity back into usable water droplets and keep it readily available for the plant to access and use. Okay, so right here we're going to show you a microscope demonstration. So that powder right there, um, the white powder is the hygroscopic material that we put on that little blue part of the slide. And we're going to put that underneath the microscope so you can see really up close what's happening. So it's going to attract moisture and create water. Um, and in the next slide, we recorded a video of this process, and it shows the powder taking the humidity out of the air and turning it into water droplets. So you can see right here, that's the powder. And you can see it forming into usable water. So it creates little water droplets. Um, and also, depending on your surrounding area, um, so say like we took this in Florida, it will happen much faster than it would in, uh, say, like a state of California where it's usually drier, but nevertheless, it will happen. It just, it just depends on the humidity on the outside air, um, how fast it turns from powder into liquid. So where can you use hydrogen? Um, so you can use about anywhere you need water management or a better water manager, or even when you want to reduce watering like you see in the top left. Um, we see great results with reducing watering and you get the same or even better results with your plants. Um, helps uh, minimize dry spot uh, problems you have, um, just like maximizing soil moisture efficiency to reduce it. Um, also with drought, so we've been having some pretty harsh summers, um, especially out in the desert regions, uh, especially in California right now, um, how dry it is out there and all the fires, and then also with seeding and propagation. It helps with uh, seeding success. 
And then landscape installations, just like I said before, it helps reduce the stress on the plants, grass, sod that you install, and even container plants. And this is even great for homeowners. Um, homeowners can use these on their container plants at home. Say they uh, go on vacation for about a week or week and a half. They can uh, put hydrogen in their potted plants and, ha and don't have to worry about paying someone to come out and water every other day. And right here, we even have it continued. Um, we can minimize edge wilt within greenhouses, growing areas, uh, so you don't have to worry about uh, your plants wilting within a huge group. And it also improves transport quality. So you see all these plants are stacked up on a cart. Um, whenever it's put in the back of trucks, it's already going to be stressed out. It's out of the sun, especially when it's a full sun plant. Um, it's just going to be that little bit of stress. And usually it's pretty bounced around a lot too, so it just helps it be more stable. And also whenever you are like a wholesale plant seller or anything and you sell to a garden center or something like that, um, it can re increase retail shelf life. So the growers out there, um, you can use this to help kind of put an insurance package on your plant so you don't have to worry about as much return. And then also with high traffic areas. So with high traffic areas, you have a ton of people walking on top of it. It's going to run away every once in a while. And this will can increase it to help to keep that grass healthy there. And even from recovery as well. Um, like either paintball tournaments, football, everything can help with all the stress it takes from people in cleats or anything like that. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, Hayden. So, um, so the powder that Hayden showed was the was a raw material that was used in the original development of Hydrotain um, as a liquid product, and that liquid was originally developed as a means of roadway dust control for the mining industry in Australia, and they use that technology to pull moisture out of the humidity in the air and and. Um, keep the, the road surface nominally damp to minimize the dusting when the chemist saw how the product performed on the surface. He decided to test it and see how it would perform below the surface, working with the moisture that exists between soil particles. And this was the very first test of the product on, on turf. Um, and this, uh, this center section was treated prior to what ended up being about a six week drought period. And as you can see, it stayed green and healthy as the rest of the lawn began to, to uh, dry out. So um, we got a hold of the technology, brought it into the United States and um, started doing some work with the University of Florida on some testing um, in greenhouses. They were uh, at the time looking for some products that would help improve uh, retail shelf life. Um, and uh, they had tested wetting agents, they had tested super absorbent polymers as part of that study. And as they were introduced to hydrotain, they, they added it into a late part of the study and made the statements that they had never seen any other water management product that came close to doubling the time a plant could go without water. In this particular example, um, this greenhouse was dealing with a significant edge wilt problem and uh, they were having to water three times a week using their overhead irrigation system and supplement that with twice a week hand watering and they were still ending up with, with this edge wilt scenario um, that you see here. And with the application of hydrotain, they were able to not only eliminate the edge wilt, they were also able to cut their watering back to two times a week overhead and eliminate the hand watering altogether. In an additional um, edge plant trial, this one was done at a greenhouse in, um, in South Carolina. You've got um, a, a situation where their irrigation, overhead irrigation wasn't enough to maintain adequate growth and they were ending up with that domed growth um, across the benches. And so they were looking uh, to hydrotain as an opportunity to help improve the edge plant development and bring it back up to a sellable level. And, and what the researcher said after this trial completed was that the, you know, the plants that were treated with hydrotain were not only larger in size and retained more leaves, but they also developed a larger root system compared to those on just plain water. From the greenhouse industry, we were able to work on strengthening the formula to make it cost effective to apply to large scale turf applications um, and began working with uh, golf courses and sports fields. In this particular example, this is a, a, a rough area on a golf course. It's a sloped area and, and it's hard to tell from this picture, but actually slopes down towards those flowers. Um, this photograph was taken in July, one month after the application. Uh, both sides received the same amount of irrigation. But what's also notable here is that one of the challenges they experience because of this slope is that watering that area enough to keep the um, 
the, the grass screen, ended up in a scenario where you're ending up um, causing too much moisture on those flowers. And, and that obviously can you know, develop root rot, um, fungal issues. And uh, so one of the things that we look at with hydrotain is for those residential properties or commercial properties for that matter that have uh, turf and flower beds on the same zone, hydrotain can be a huge help in, in helping to cut back on the amount of water that, that typically the turf needs um, so that you don't overwater the flowers that are on the same zone. This is the uh, San Diego uh, Jewish Academy. Um, they had this problem with the fields where uh, dry spot problem areas. Um, this is a time period where the school, school was out of session, but the kids were using day camps uh, on the fields regularly. So they were getting daily traffic. And this is the area where they entered the fields. Um, and this is one month, I'm sorry, this is after one application, the recovery of those dry spots with the hydrotain. So um, as I mentioned, the original development of the formula was a liquid. Um, over the last couple, couple of years, we developed a granular product that allowed a greater opportunity to move into landscape markets for residential properties. So um, we have had over the, over the years, uh, landscape contractors apply the liquid formula, um, but liquid has to be watered in right away. So if you don't have access to an irrigation system or the ability to get it watered in right away, that can be a little bit more of a challenge when, when providing a service to residential properties. With the granular, there's greater flexibility in that it can, it can uh, sit for about three to five days before it needs to be watered in. Um, so good rainfall can get in or you can leave the instructions for the homeowner to, uh, to water when they get home. Um, but in this particular picture, this was one that we uh, received from a photo contest we ran a few years ago. And uh, the, the caption on it was, sorry neighbor. Um, and basically the, the homeowner was just from, from the application on, on their lawn, um, they felt bad for, for basically how, um, how much their lawn was outshining their neighbors and, and sending that in. Uh, but this is what you can see in an example of a, of a treated compared to an untreated residential property. Um, what often happens with whether dealing with residential properties or commercial properties, irrigation systems fail. And Hydrotain is one of those products that helps provide an insurance. Um, it's great to have down all the time as part of your maintenance program, but it can also serve as a recovery product. So in this particular situation, um, this is out of Jacksonville, Florida, the, the landscape contractor was sure that this client was gonna cancel. They had a, um, an irrigation system failure and uh, they were able to go out after uh, coming to the property and, and seeing what the grass looked like, they put down a hydrotain application, um, got them to do a little hand watering uh, to get it watered in, and um, they were able to recover that area and, and maintain the business. So they did not lose that customer um, because of the hydrotain application. Similar scenario, um, I believe this is from Colorado. Um, same situation, irrigation zone went down. They were able to put hydrotain down and the after picture is three weeks um, after, after the application. So beyond maintenance um, and correcting problem areas, we also look at hydrotain as an opportunity to improve installation. In this situation, these are completely unirrigated flower beds. Uh, they're put in, they were at a distributor's location in North Carolina. And um, it's kind of hard to see, but at the bottom of the picture, there's the road. So these are sandwiched between their hardscape uh, a focal point area, showcase area, the sidewalk and the roadway. Um, and the, the treated flowers are the flowers that are on the left. They received zero irrigation, so just rainwater. Um, and then the flowers on the right are the, are the untreated comparison. These were, um, these were installed with, with a hydrotain application. Um, the ones on the, on the left were installed with a hydrotain application. The ones on the right were installed with just water. Um, but the ones on the right, they had to actually water them periodically uh, to keep them alive. Uh, tree installation, this is out of St. Cloud, Minnesota, and they were doing a test of hydrotain. They wanted to see how it performed um, compared to, to an untreated area. And so they went down this stretch of roadway median and did every other tree. And this is a close up of, of two of the trees um, from that, you know, just next to each other from, from that median. And, and you can see how with the hydrotain treatment, uh, how much fuller that tree is, how much, how much more um, established it is compared to the untreated tree. 
We're in this time of year right now, of course, fall seeding. This particular situation, fall seeding on a home lawn, um, the, the lawn uh, was clearly in need of help. Um, it's, uh, the, the statement from the contractor is, uh, we used hydrotain on, on, on a lawn that needed uh, airification and overseeding from the summer drought. Um, they did all of the areas that were thin except for one. They wanted to keep that check area to see how well hydrotain performed for them as their first application with it. And, and the statement was, you know, just wow, what a difference. And they started using hydrotain on every seed job um, after this point. In this situation is a new construction, a, a park in Tennessee. They were in a real hurry to get this area seated. There was supposed to be a wedding at this pavilion uh, at the end of the month and uh, when they did this. Um, and they didn't have enough material. They, they miscalculated, didn't have enough material to do the entire project area. You can see where they ended up stopping. It was a, 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 a tank application uh, with hydrotain on the left side and where they ran out of material on the right side. And this is five days after they, they did their seeding. They actually, um, after seeing this, ended up getting some additional product, uh, putting it down on the seed and getting it to fill back in uh, in time for the wedding. So um, they were able to catch it up, but, uh, but in the meantime, we were able to get some nice pictures out of the treat treatment versus the untreated comparison. Similar new construction, this is more of an erosion control scenario. Um, they uh, were, were building you know, two ponds in an area and did, they were drill seeding these and did one of the drill seeding, um, did, did the drill seeding, did one of the ponds with hydrotain um, and these photos were taken nine days after treatment. In an independent grass seed germination trial, um, the researcher here pulled out the seedlings to look at root development. One of the things that we see in, in seed germination is not only the speed of germination, seeing it come up faster, like we just saw in the Tennessee example and in, in those um, retention pond examples, um, but we also see better seedling survival. Um, we see you know, faster overall establishment. And part of the, the seedling survival is helping to establish early on a, a healthier root system. So one of the questions we get a lot with hydrotain is if we're putting, if we're giving moisture to it, do, do we develop you know, sort of lazy roots? Um, are we gonna end up with a short root system? And what we actually find is that we're giving it, we get the opposite effect. We're giving it enough moisture to stay out of drought stress so that it can stay healthy and keep producing those roots, um, but not keeping soil saturated, not ending up in a scenario where you're, you're encouraging lazy uh, or short root development. Penn State did a seed germination trial um, and you can see in these photos a considerable difference in the number, total number of seeds that germinated with the hydrotain treatment both in sand and in the native soil there. In an agricultural scenario, um, similar um, situation, you've got hydrotain treatment on the tomatoes up front compared to the untreated control, how much faster it's got those seedlings started. On the peppers, the treatment is on, on the right, untreated on the left. And in the lettuce, um, the, the seeds had actually already germinated when they put hydrotain down, so they did it as a post-germination, but you can see how much richer the color is and how, um, how much more developed the, the lettuce seedlings are. Moving into potted plants this is another great uh, area to use hydrotain, as Hayden mentioned, um, you know, for regular maintenance as well as for vac vacation protection. This happened to be in a retail garden center. Um, these two plants uh, were, were exposed to 100 plus degree temperatures. The, the plant on the right treated with hydrotain, the plant on the left untreated, uh, and they, this is two days without water. And you can see that the untreated, the control plant is, is you know, totally wilted out and the, the hydrotain plant looks, looks perfectly fine. Um, this is an interesting situation for, uh, for growers, for retail garden centers. And, and what you find oftentimes, particularly during the summer months in the middle of the afternoon is um, hydrotain is a great tool to help keep plants up at a sellable level. Um, this can also be beneficial for landscape contractors who have to keep plants on their yard before getting them installed. Doing an application to help maintain the plant health before you get them in the ground um, can be a great way to, to make sure that once you put them in, you're putting in uh, the best looking product that you possibly can. This was a distributor uh, rep who decided that he was gonna try product out at home. So this is on his pool deck um, in South Florida. Uh, he did one plant with, 
with hydrotain, one, uh, one he left alone, just, just watered it with an equal amount of water and left for a week for vacation. And this is what he came home to. So uh, he immediately shared those pictures with us after he got home from vacation. Similar scenario here. We've got a, a um, this is actually a landscape company. Uh, they were, um, had gotten a hold of some sample material, some of the of our granular uh, sample material. Um, did the the pot, the hanging basket on the right with hydrotain, and and of course didn't treat the um, the one on the left. And this was after four days without water. Um, came back home from vacation, a similar scenario, long weekend. Came back home to uh, to the difference in these plants. Um, and this is one of my favorites for hanging baskets, just a, a clear example of, of how much more time hydrotain can buy uh, between watering cycles and still maintain um, the vigor of a, of a flowering plant. So as I mentioned, um, hydrotain comes in two um, different um, formulations, liquid and granular, and uh, Hayden's gonna take it back away with how to do applications with those products. Thank you, Sarah. Uh, so yeah, so for liquid, um, for seeding, overseeding, hydro seeding, all that. So nine ounces will give you a thousand square feet uh, by spray or drench. And the main thing with these products is that you want it to be able to get to the root system, which is why uh, Sarah said, like, make sure with the liquid you have to water it in right away. Um, that's just to make sure uh, you get the best results out of it and then maintain every three months at a full rate or because it usually one application will last you up to 90 days. Um, that's just kind of like the maximum and then uh, follow with enough water to carry the product to the root zone. Just like I said, it needs to be available to the root. And then for agriculture, uh, 9.4 to 28 liters per hectare or one to three gallons per acre. Uh, application rate depends on the crop density as well. And they're also available in all these sizes. And we even have a ready, uh, if you look on top of the blue, sorry, Sarah, if you looked on top of the blue uh, tub right there, we have a ready to use uh, hose and sprayer as well. Great for homeowners. All right, and then also for granular, uh, this one, uh, Sarah mentioned, like this one lasts a little bit longer um, whenever you just have it out. Um, so this is quick dissolving. Uh, can, uh, each acre takes about 120 pounds, 2.7 pounds per 1,000 square feet about five days to water in. And then we also have multiple uh, sizes re uh, readily available as well. And then with Hydrotain, uh, it's also a USDA bio-preferred product approved. Um, so this program is an accreditation for products with demonstrated bio-based content, uh, meaning that your ingredients are from re renewable biological sources. Sarah? So the Hydrotain Advantage program was developed to help landscape contractors or service providers be able to offer Hydrotain as a service without having to invest a lot of their own time and money into marketing materials. We've recently just upgraded the program to contain a, a brand new program portal. Um, but we do provide through that free marketing materials, including mailers, uh, email templates, social graphics, photos, some of the before and afters that you've seen through this presentation, um, the demonstration powder, as, as Hayden showed earlier, um, are all things that we make available to, to help make your job easier in, in selling it um, to your residential or commercial customers. Um, and then new to the program up, updates, we have added a reward component to that. Um, and then we also um, will list your company in our find an applicator directory and of course we we offer training and technical support such as um, webinars like these um, that program is accessible through hydrotainadvantage.com it's completely free to enroll and and as I mentioned um, the marketing materials are free as well moving beyond hydrotain one of the other tools that we recommend for um, water management is is cytogrow which is our um, EPA registered hormone biostimulant and, and obviously the, the, the concept here is that the better healthier root system you have uh, the, the better your plants are going to be able to find water on their own um, so this is a great tool to use in conjunction with hydrotain the more um, root mass that you have it creates you know, more sites on the plant for hydrotain to be drawn up and adhere to when it's applied, uh, providing more moisture data as well. But uh, Cytogrow essentially, um, as I mentioned, it's a, it, it's a hormone biostimulant. It's seaweed derived. Um, it's Ascophyllum nodosum uh, kelp that's, that comes out of the um, 
North Atlantic. And that seaweed um, is exposed to extreme tidal changes throughout the day. So half the day it spends it, its life under you know, frigid cold waters and the other half the day as the tide changes, it's exposed on the rock surface. And that has, um, the plant has evolved to be able to withstand those, those levels of stress and those, those extreme temperature changes um, through, uh, through um, various substances that, that it produces. And so extracting that seaweed and, and providing it to plants helps in, increase a plant's stress tolerance. Uh, of course, it also promotes deeper, denser root systems and enhances lateral growth as well. You can see a comparison of a treated versus untreated on Cytogrow on, this, on the uh, right side of the screen. Um, this is an example of Cytogrow used in, um, this is actually a seeding scenario uh, from a sod farm. So they, um, th believe it or not, the side on the left was seeded five days earlier than the side treated with Cytogrow. And it's an unbelievable difference. I mean, it, it, it looks like this is, um, the side treated with Cytogrow looks like it's been well established for a long time um, compared to the untreated side. Similar scenario, um, but this is you know pulling um, pulling uh, sod out. So the strips when they're harvesting the sod, uh, the regrowth, and so you've got the difference there between um, side grow and the untreated. And it it really looks like on the side grow side that it hasn't yet been harvested, uh, but they were harvested at the same time. So the com the the comparison there is just what hydro what side grow has been able to do to get that to regrow in faster. Um, and in many cases for sod farms that 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 gives the ability to get an additional cut in um, so they can get more grass to you more quickly, uh, but also uh, you know, be able to, to earn more off of that in a season as well. Um, and then you know, sod that's been treated with Cytogrow, you, if you receive it and are, are installing it, uh, already having Cytogrow in there is gonna tack a lot faster. Using this in a residential or commercial situation where you're installing new plants, uh, you're also going to see um, it fill in much quicker. And then I um, want to talk a little bit about Nutru, but Hayden's going to take this one back. This is a, a combination product. Right. So Nutru is a uh, fertilizer, but it's kind of it's, it's more than just fertilizes your plants. Um, it's a 2 2 3. It's low. The MPK ratios are low to increase but not overstimulate growth. And plus, you don't have to worry about as much as uh, toxicity to your plant as well with that low nitrogen. Um, and then also, it helps accelerate root development, kind of like cider growth. Um, but Nutri also it, uh, reduces water stress on new transplants, mature trees, and shrubs. Uh, and then also it helps break the surface tension so water penetrates and uh, further into the soil profile. Um, and then like right here, this is the benefits, it improves uh, plant establishment. So this is perfect for uh, transplanting plants. So uh, landscapers, new pots, homeowners, anybody would be great to use this. Um, I always suggest they like uh, with garden centers, uh, I always suggest them to get the little eight ounce and so they can kind of uh, add as an add on to whenever your, uh, your customers buy plants or anything. So it's fantastic for multiple uses. And there's also humectic, humectants in it as, uh, as well to enable soil moisture vapor to form droplets kind of like hydrotain. It's kind of like a three in one. And it's also a USDA certified bio-based product as well. And right here, we kind of have a trial. Um, so this is just uh, before and after. So the left was before the treatment and the right is just after a month and a half of a treatment with Nutri-Root. So you can see the foliage is much darker green, overall fuller with this one application. Um, and then right here is this pro tip. It says treating with Nutri-Root will help reduce the impact of winter, of the winter harshness by maintaining better soil moisture in the varying time, especially whenever the soil freezes over, it causes a little bit of stress as well. And also in this slide, uh, it kind of shows like where all of our RTMs are. Uh, since I'm so new, I'm not all the math yet, but I am your horticulture sales rep. I'm there whenever you need me. Um, and then on the next slide, we'll be able to show ours. But if you have any questions in turf, tree, those will all take care of it. And then here's our contact information. We really appreciate you guys joining us. You can reach us and contact us at that email. And I also listed my cell direct cell phone number as well. Um, if you have any questions, we'll be happy to answer for you.